tell you, I wouldn't fancy Tarzan's chances against this lot. More people live inside the M25 than in the whole of Zambia. Some kids walk five or ten miles a day to school. If you had to do that, maybe one day you'd be a contender for the Metrex trophy for the world's strongest man. The 30 strong men have been divided into five heats of six each, and this is the final heat. We know eight finalists already, two of these six will make it through themselves. It's a long way from Scarborough to Zambia, but what a year it's been for Britain's strongest man. We've, um, we've got married, um, and about three days after we got married, we come here on our honeymoon. Yeah, you know, nice relaxing honeymoon. You're the world's strongest man. And how do you assess your chances, realistically? Compared to everybody else, I seem to look like a bit of a child, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, the big people. Well, well yeah. it's like I said to Richard, he's, he's competing with the best. Yeah. A two-pronged assault on the body to kickstart this heat here at the Royal Livingston Hotel. The first element, you have to lift up this weight that weighs 225 kilograms and move it 15 metres down a course. I can't even shift it. And the second element is described for you by Jamie Reeves, former world's strongest man. This is a 400 kilogram tyre. The athletes have to squat down, take a good grip on the tread and then flip it to the finish line. Come on, John. Little bit of effort. I can't... Pathetic. I can't... I can't move it an inch. Now, if you've seen all the heats, you'll know he was missing from number four. But he's back, and so is Paul Dickinson. Our first competitor in heat five from the University of Las Vegas, the strength coach, Mark Filippi. And the original Canadian lumberjack next to him, Jessin Paula from Quebec. Take your drift. Good atmosphere here for this very first event. And away we go, 225 kilos. That is a massive weight to begin this contest, but it gets worse. And it's Paula who's in the lead. And amazingly, Mark Filippi is really struggling here. Now we go onto the 400 kilogram tractor tire. And Paula, well, Canada have already produced a magnificent result in Strongman this year so far. Hugo Girard is through to the final, as is Jeff Dolan. So two Canadians through to the final already. And this is good for Paula. And Mark Filippi is way, way behind at the moment. One more flip of the tyre should do it for Jesse Paula. What a start to Strongman for this year for the Canadian. Great support. And now it's all down to Mark Filippi. He's got to watch that knee. He's had some terrible injuries in World's Strongest Man competition in the past. We don't want another one. But a disappointing result so far for the man from Nevada. The Canadians time 44.29 and they'll have to get the tape measure out for Mark Filippi. How hot is it? Oh, it's pretty hot. I was surprised. Almost midway, midway into the carry. I felt like passing, passing out. But I kept going and I went through the line. Malone, Malone Horn from South Africa. 
the former Transvaal number eight rugby player, and the giant Franz Molner, Austria's strongest man, right next to him. So in the lead at the moment is Jesse and Paulin of Canada, 44.29 to beat. And Molnar struggling just a bit at the moment. Malone Horn on the far side, wobbling a bit, and he's gone down as well. So it's nip and tuck at the moment. The Austrian, a couple of metres in the lead, ahead of the South African, over the tyre goes. And Franz Molnar is going pretty well here. A big push. Oh, and that looks bad for Malone Horn. I think he's ruptured his bicep. And Franz Molnar carries on alone. I wonder if Molnar realises what's going on behind him. It's going to be very difficult to carry on so isolated like this, but Horn is definitely finished, that's for sure. Now what a moment for Richard Gosling, Britain's strongest man from Cannock in the UK, and he's right next to a former world's strongest man, the Norwegian Sven Carlsen. Well, this is good news for Richard Gosling. He's up against one of the best guys in the world. I hope he can rise to the occasion. Sven Carson, the original Viking power. And Richard Gosling's not too far behind the Norwegian. And Sven Carson has got so much experience. He won the title in 2002. Richard Gosling, of course, won Britain's Strongest Man competition this year. And Sven Carlsen is just one flip of the tyre ahead. Carlsen, former powerlifter, former bodybuilder, and now a superb strongman. One more flip of the tyre should do it. And Sven Carlsen has won the first event. That was superb. Milking the crowd for everything he's got. And Richard Gosling is going to finish in the points as well. One more flip should do it for him. I think he's going to finish in about third place, 52.21, but Sven Carlsen won that superbly. And all this nervous before the first event. Now I can go happy to bed tonight. Are you uh, still hungry for champion? Oh, yeah. But I'm going to try and enjoy it more this year. Shy and retiring as ever, a good start for Sven Carlsen, the winner in Zambia two years ago, and he won't be surprised to hear that that injury for Horn meant the end of his challenge. And so a good start there for Richard Gosling in his bid to do better than his brother Mick last year and reach the final of World's Strongest Man. Strongman sport is all a numbers game, weights and repetitions. So here's a few more numbers for you. The Victoria Falls are 1,688 metres long. On average, they're 100 metres high. And wait for this. Every single minute, 550 million litres of water cascade down the Zambezi River. We've pulled trucks and we've pulled buses. Now it's time to pull a train. The athletes will need one of these, a harness and a rope. And then it's just leg power all the way to the finish line. Well, 15 and a half tonnes of railway carriage, and we think that's about the equivalent of 20 wildebeest. Quite a prospect indeed for Mark Filippi and the rest. And away we go. Now, what Mark Filippi lacks in stature, he's just over six feet tall, he makes up with a fantastically muscled frame. Very strong arms, very strong legs, an immensely strong back, and driving well. Pulling for all he's worth, the Victoria Falls Bridge witness to something special here at the beginning of the train pull. But Mark Filippi needs the points after a disappointing carry and flip. And there he gets it, 28.87. And that surely is going to put the American in the points at the end of this event. Good effort. How heavy was it? How heavy did it feel? Uh, you know, it was hard initially just to get it moving. Then it starts to come along pretty fast. and. You can't really stay in the rails, you know, so I didn't know how hard it was going to be. You know, hopefully I can beat a few people, make a few points up after yesterday's uh, bad start. Well, he certainly was going to beat Mulner from Austria, 30.06 the time for him. And he was followed by Jesson Paulau from Canada. He was a bit slow, 54.46. Well, what a good start it's been for Richard Gosling on his honeymoon, of course. He'll certainly remember this experience for the rest of his life. 
15 and a half tons underway. His brother, of course, is a very good strongman as well, Mick. He's appeared in Britain's Strongest Man competition in the past, and Richard is going well. Oh, what a time has been set by Mark Filippi, 28.87. Oh, a little slip there for Richard. He's lost a bit of time there. And can he get the next couple of metres inside the time? No, he can't. And this looks as though it's going to be outside 30 seconds. He really slowed down there. 34.18, so it's still Mark Filippi in the lead. I thought it was going to be a hard pull to start. I got halfway down the track and I was motoring. I seemed to think about me hands and my feet too much, rather than just doing it. Take your position. Now can Sven Carlsen make it two victories in a row? Are you ready? Away we go. The blonde hair of Sven Carlsen. He's like a bullet, just staring straight ahead. Big arms, big shoulders. Six feet two inches tall, 21 stones in body weight and accelerating all the time. Sven Carson is going like a train. I hate to say it, but it's true. He's staying low, driving on with his legs, and he's done it by a mile. 25.8 seconds, three seconds better than Mark Filippi. He's still high as a kite, but Sven Carson has won that by a country mile. And don't you mess around. <laughs> now, these celebrations at the end, have you rehearsed them at home? No, I'm so messed up in my head, so these things just come to me. I just said, I think this, actually it's Valhalla. I think Thor and Odin is living here somewhere, I can feel them. The Viking warrior on the warpath, two events, two victories. Behind him, that was disappointing for Richard Gosling, but look at that scoreboard. Well, the giant Norwegian has almost written himself into the final already, but it's anybody's guess who's going to join him there. When in Zambia, be prepared for anything. I prepared for it in training camp where we train in Worcester, Area 51. They've got everything that we've got here. It's all the same sort of equipment. You know, you push yourself all year long. It's a lot different than I expected, being out here in the heat. I think I'll, I shall take some things back with me. You know, I think I'll try and even order for next year. The town of Livingston is proud of its colonial past, magnificent 19th century buildings, great wide verandas, corrugated roofs. But in its long distinguished history, it's never seen anything quite like this. This is the heaviest weight we've ever used at the world's strongest man. 155 kilos each, and this is literally going to tear the skin off their hands. Well, that sounds awful, doesn't it? But Jessen Paulin of Canada will try and make sure the grip stays strong. Now, this certainly is an occasion where you've got to feel for these guys. That is a massive weight to be carrying. 342 pounds in each arm. It is simply unbelievable, but the 25-metre course is being eaten up by the Canadian. That is tremendous. 17.12. What a start by Jesse Paulin. Absolutely super. I made it. And that's what it counts. That's what counts. I made it. And a fantastic atmosphere for you. Yeah, yeah. People are very generous and... Hot. The heaviest ever weight in World's Strongest Man for Farmer's Walk meant Mulner couldn't finish the course. Mark Filippi from the States could, and he did it in 17.79 seconds. So here goes Richard Gosling. What a target that was set by Jesse and Paul out. 17.12 still to beat. And here goes Gosling. His arms almost being pulled out of their sockets, but he's getting down the course well. He's got about 10 metres to go. It's going to be so close. And Gosling has done it! Oh, he's absolutely obliterated the time by the Canadian. 15.28. That was magnificent. Did he take any breaths, or were you just literally just breathing out I was, the hole? I was on fire. <laughs> I was on, literally. 
just picked them up and just went for it. Well, there's only one man can prevent Richard Gosling from getting this victory in World's Strongest Man this year, uh, that is Sven Carlson. A little shrug of the shoulders there. 155 kilos times two. Down the course as fast as you can. 15.28 is the time that Gosling set. It's going to be close, and he's just outside. Oh, Gosling's done it. Carlson goes into second place. Well, go on, you're allowed to put him down. He's just posing for the cameras. But Richard Gosling has got a victory. He sure has. Sven Carlson is beatable after all. Jess and Paul are finishing in third place. So here's how things look after three events with three to go. And so at the halfway stage, Britain's strongest man has one eye on the final, but he knows there's still an awful long way to go. It's all about brute strength. You bend down, you grab the bar, you stand up straight. You either succeed or you fail. One of the wonders of the world, the Victoria Falls, the backdrop for this event, the deadlift. And first of all, it's Mark Filippi. Now, ready? this guy is a great powerlifter, and I reckon the American could pull this van quite a few times. 650 pounds is the effective weight. Now, watch as he pushes his hips through there, and that just helps straighten the back. So we're going well. Four reps just for Mark Filippi. Oh. Good left. He really left. has got tremendous strength, not just Go. in the lower back and the Good legs, left. but in the upper left. body too. And he's certainly not somebody Go. who just says, Good do left. what I say, left. he says, do what I do. Go. That makes a great strength coach, and Mark Filippi has certainly got it here. Nine repetitions. I'll tell you what, he seems to be getting better as time goes on. Is there no stopping him? That's ten reps. And that is going to be hard to beat, but how much further can he go? Well, you've just got to think back a couple of years. His career almost ended when a car fell on him on the beaches of Morocco. He certainly recovered, though, and come back so, so well. Can he get 13? It's going to be a struggle, but 12 reps is absolutely superb for Mark Filippi. He's finally come into his own. Do you think in this group it's a question of who's going to be second to Sven? Yeah, it's looking that way, isn't it? You know, we've all made our mistakes in the beginning. God knows I have. So uh, we're just scratching and clawing for the other spot. So hopefully... Uh, just keep fighting. Scratching and clawing well, Mark Filippi. Less so Mulner, just one repetition for him. And as far as Jesson Paulan was concerned, look at the pain and a total of eight repetitions. Well, that really is a massive target that Mark Filippi still has as the lead. 12 repetitions. So Richard Gosling, he's been practicing this event at home, that's for sure. Just checking across to the judge to make sure he gets the all clear before he goes for number three. So far, so good. I must admit I've been very impressed with the relaxed but determined way that Richard Gosling has approached this, his first World's Strongest Man competition. That's five, is it? Just gets it to arm's length with the legs straight. Just beginning to struggle now a wee bit. Big breath, sets the chest, sets the back, and that surely is number six. Yes, it is. He's still two repetitions behind Paula of Canada, and a long, long way behind Mark Filippi, who's in the lead by miles. And Richard Gosling desperately trying to get number seven, but he can't do it. And so he's in third place at the moment, way behind Filippi and Paula by a couple of reps, and that is it. So Richard Gosling finishes on six. But you showed amazing willpower for the last couple. Uh, yeah, I tried to match seven, you know, maybe eight if I could. We got to six, and then I thought, you know, have a breather and uh, you know, get some aggression going. And I got three quarters of the way up with the seven, but uh, didn't lock out, uh, you know, one of them things really. Not too bad. Well, Sven Carlson has already had Ready. some good events so Left. far. He's in the lead by four Left. points from his nearest Left. challenger, Left. who before this event was Richard Left. Gosling. But Left. I've got a feeling it's all going to change. That's Left. looking good for three. Left. Left. 
Very simple movement no. when it's done well. Sven Carlson with those no. straps around his left. wrist and they're left. attached to the weightlifting bar no. and that helps the good grip. Left. He's equal left. with Gosling now. No. One more repetition good puts him left. ahead of Richard Gosling. He's actually asking how many he's done. No. That is eight. Now let's be clear about this because he's now level with Paul out of Canada and now he's gone ahead of the Canadian. <laughs> Well, that's a bit of a farce, really. He's done enough, but he's in the big points once again, and Mark Filippi has won it. No substitute for experience. Sven Carlsen conserving his energy for the greater battles to come. And here's how things stand with just two more events to go. Sven Carlsen in a class of his own, but Richard Gosling now involved in a tenacious three-way fight to join him in the final. In the world of strength, it's not just work. There is a fair amount of play as well. And so we come to the Atlas Stones remix. The wall has gone to be replaced by these five cylindrical pillars, but the most traditional of all strongman events remains fundamentally the same. Pick up these five giant boulders that weigh between 100 and 160 kilograms and place them on the drums as quickly as possible. A wonderfully intimate and colorful setting for the stones on the banks of the Zambezi. And somebody who enjoyed it was Mulner. He managed four in 28.76. Sven Carlson ready to go for the big points yet again. And Mark Filippi, who had a brilliant deadlift last time up. So Mark Filippi's got it all to do all over again. And Sven Carlson determined to stay in the lead. And Mark Filippi the first to move. Or is he? In fact, it's neck and neck, and Carson is just in the lead. And Mark Philippi has got all sorts of problems. That first stone has to go back on top of the drum, and Carson is flying. Mark Philippi can't get that one up at all. Well, actually, that's not true. He can get it up, but it won't stay up. Meanwhile, the Norwegian, who's got plenty of Viking power here in Zambia, is on number five, 160 kilos. 353 pounds can he make it number five it's not a particularly fast time but it's the strength that's so impressive mark Filippi gets the second one up that was okay and i think sven carlson has said enough is enough he got four stones up in 22.08 that in itself is pretty fast and i'm amazed at mark Filippi. he's really struggling at this one and this is a guy with an enormous back strength. And actually, Carlson has come back to have a go at the last one. Good effort from Sven Carlson, former world's strongest man a couple of years ago. And he just wants to do this for a bit of show, I think. He knows he's got big points once again. So Sven Carlson is leading, and Mark Filippi will have to wait and see. Did a little experiment here, lifting them without belt. And that became a problem with the last one. <laughs> Don't have anything to, since I'm not one of these, I have nothing to put it on. So with the belt, I have the stone to put it on the belt, so I'm gonna put it on the belt for the final. And generally, how are you feeling? Feel good, like always. Jess and Paul Anna of Canada. And alongside him is our own Richard Gosling. Looking Get determined, looking steely-eyed, if anything. So the lead at the moment held by Sven Carlson, four stones in 22.08. And Paul Ang gets away the quickest. Richard Gosling on the far side, still a fraction behind the Canadian, in fact struggling on that second stone. And Paul Ang is already on number four. And Paul Ang is really flying. I don't think the Canadians had too much experience of this. Richard Gosling hasn't either. And Paul Ang is on number five. This is unbelievable. He's got a real chance of making it through the final if he gets this up, and he's done it. That was magnificent, 30.91. There aren't too many have done it faster than that. 
And Richard Gosling certainly needs number four if he can. I don't think he can. But what a great performance yes. by Jesse Paulin. Did you expect to get all five? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Even though... The master at the stones. So I was quite surprised when I get it up. So we're... So effortlessly, and I'm very proud of representing Quebec. Quebec! Yes! You've got to be positive there, haven't you? Oh, yes, I never give up. I've well, only got one more event to, to go. So uh, I'll go all out on that one. And then, uh, if I don't make it, fair play. You know, I'll, uh, I'll be here back, back again next year. That victory absolutely key in Jess and Paulin's bid to reach the final. Richard Gosling back in fourth place there, and here's how things looked with just one event to go. Sven Carlsen long since home and dry, but the three-way battle for second place sadly became two when Richard Gosling had to retire because of a back injury. Die out, Take your tyre, flip it seven times, and hopefully you're through to the final. And here we go with the very last event in the heats of this year's championship. Well, one thing is for sure, Sven Carlsen has made it through to the final, but the second spot is up for grabs. It's a bit mathematical, but Carlsen is so far ahead of the rest, he's got no problem, and showboating all the way. Paul out nearest the camera. Well, he's got a chance of making it through to the final, and this guy does as well. Mark Filippi, if he was to win this and Paul out was to come last, They'd be tied on points, then it would be all down to the judges to see who had the better record. That is Mulner on the far side, but in fact, Paula has won it. Carlson second, Felipe third, so we don't have to get the calculators out. It's all done and dusted. Sven Carlson wins it, and Paula is second. We have our last two finalists. Absolutely superb. That was a long, a long day today, and uh, now... I can move on to bigger things. So I'm very proud. And Hugo Girard is in the final. You are in the final. So good for Canada. Yeah, good for Canada. Three guys in the final. Jeff Dolan, in fact, the final member of that Canadian triumvirate. There's confirmation of Paul Lann's victory in the tyre flip and also of his qualification for that final, along with the Viking Carlson. Sven won it here two years ago. Do you fancy a repeat? Um, he looks good in these temperatures, he looks comfortable, and I think he's going to be a serious challenger. As for Jesson Pollan, I think he's nervous, he looks tense, and I don't expect him to do much in the final. And that rounds up all the heats, and there are the ten finalists, one of whom will be crowned World's Strongest Man, and will lift the Metrex Trophy. special Christmas edition of Strongman Who Wants an Idol Big Brother Reborn in a Fame Academy. And Sven, what are you going to sing? I'm going to give you a silent bite in Norwegian. Jolly good. Glad jul, hellige jul, engler daler ned i skjul. Jesus kom på en elefant inn, hadde jomfru Maria ved sin. All right. 